Well, Beard, it's been a good seven months. We've been through a lot together. It's been some really good times. change. So, just got done getting my beard trimmed professionally for the first time ever. I don't know what to think, because it's not as, it's not as long as it used to be. I used to like grow and just like, <laughs> it's weird. It's weird having a man, it's weird having anybody, in fact, touch your face. I would describe the way he went at trimming my beard to be kind of like the way somebody trim bush, like a hedge, like you had uh, the thing, and then it, it became more in line and professional looking, which was really what I needed, because I was hoping that this, dear God, would stop the homeless comments. <laughs> Just getting real sick of people saying I look like a bum, so finally did something about it. I just don't, I'm not a fan of somebody like making me look at myself in a mirror for like 20 minutes while they like change the way I look in front of my face. It's unsettling. I, I, I don't know. This is my first time getting like, <laughs> so weird to say this, a man's haircut, like a dude haircut, like a haircut where somebody like cut my hair and I don't look like I'm a young boy anymore, if that makes any sense. It's a dog. That's what I got going on right now. I'm gonna go take a look at it in the mirror when I get home. I haven't looked at it yet, other than what he showed me. <laughs> the whole thing, I've never had like a barber cut my hair either. That was different because the way he did it, because I had so much hair on top of my head, if you can remember. Um, I've never had anybody, he like took so I took a comb and uh, clippers and he just like I wanted to film what he was doing because I've never seen anybody do that before but I didn't want to like make him feel weird because there's nothing worse than having somebody like scrutinize you and record you and do all this while you're doing your job you're just trying to get your work done so I didn't want to bother the man but I mean it just feels different it just feels my head feels lighter now but I guess it was worth it, cause now I look like a, like like a, like a like I don't not have a roof. That's what we were going for. That was the look I wanted. I sat down and I said, "Make me look like I make make me look like I don't have a coffee can full of coins, please." So that's what I, that's just what he did. I think he did an all right job. I think cab drivers and other hairstylists you take notes from this guy because he didn't say a word to me that entire time. Not a dang word. It was so refreshing to just sit there and watch him do whatever he's doing and not have to like tell him about my life or what I do or, or what I'm gonna do later today or what's going on with my day or how's, how's the family, you know? It was just decent to just sit there and just watch what happens happen happening happens although at the end when he showed me the back of my head in a mirror he um he showed it to me I'm like yeah that's pretty cool you did good I like what you did back there and then he put the mirror down and he did something else to the back of my head but then he didn't show me what he did I'd like to think that he was just fixing something but he went back there with the clippers and I think he signed his name in the back of my head as like a signature on this artwork that he just created. I'm gonna have to take a look when I get home. <laughs> oh my God, it is so, so short. Oh man, I'm a, I'm a different person now. Did you know that? This is what happens when I get my hair cut. I just become a different person. No, not today, not today. Mom, what do you think of the hair and the beard trimming shaved compared to before? There's less hair. There's less hair. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. 
Well, it's been a good month and a half since I've gotten my beard trimmed and my hair cut. And I gotta say, the hair has finally grown on me. It took a while. I realized that after he had cut my hair, he had cut it so that it goes the other way. Which is completely fine. It's fine. It's like the beginning of a new era and the end of an old one. No longer am I the Matt G whose hair did this. Now I'm the Matt G whose hair does this. If you've got the time, I recommend seven months of just pure growing your hair and then just having somebody remove it for the most part. It's quite the change. I feel like we're well on our way into this journey here, this facial hair growing journey. <laughs> journey with me! So I do want to thank The Beard Struggle once again for providing me with some quality beard products. If you want to get your hands on some top-notch beard oils and beard bombs, check out the link in the description. Use my discount code. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm looking forward to this new me that you see in front of you. It's new, hopefully it's a good kind of new. The new that, it's like, oh, this isn't too much change and we're okay with it. And not the, ah, <laughs> that we're all used to. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.